Okay, so today I want to make a video about picks. We don't realize actually how much this changed your tone and your ability to play, probably as much as pedals and you know other parts of uh, our arsenal that we you know we spend a lot more money and time on. But so today I have literally hundreds of picks that I have uh, you know bought and found over thirty plus years of playing. So today I actually found I've, I've selected twelve, uh, depending on the size and uh, the material, also the shape as well. The one I use most of the time is this Dunlop, you know, the Delrin 88, .88. And actually I tend to play with the shoulder of the pick, not the pointy bit. Sometimes if I want a more of a tack, more of a harsh sound, I use the pointy bit, but I mostly play with the shoulder of the pick, so this pick. So the 12 picks that I've uh, selected, and I will, you know, obviously, uh, I've recorded with this acoustic and a condenser mic um, a, a selection of, you know, arpeggio, strumming and single notes to, to show how the sound and the ability to play changes with different picks. So the first one is a one millimeter uh, Jim Dunlop tubby. It's really thick and it's got this kind of triangular shape. I think I've seen Santana use this style of picks. It's very thick. And it only has pointy bits. The second one, um, it's an Ibanez Heavy. And again, I, I would say this is probably more of a bass pick, but it's very similar, thinner, not as uh, not as fat, so to speak. Uh, this third one actually doesn't know, I think is a Dunlop 207. Um, this is, I would say, more of a jazz pick. Um, not as big as the other one, but the same logic. It's quite round, around edges, quite thick, so to speak. The third one, I've had this for ages. This is a, a Steve Vai, when Steve Vai used to sell the, you know, the iconic Steve Vai 90s guitar with a with a monkey grip. This were picks that he would sell, you know, under his name. So these are Ibanez from the 90s. They're quite heavy. Um, this is a metal pick. I love the sound of this pick. It has this kind of jagged, it gives that kind of, um, you will hear it. It's a particular sound, but I love metal picks i think i think brian may uses metal is the coins but i understand why it gives a lot of attack it's a particular velvety attack to the sound the next one is a dunlop 96 so it's kind of a heavier dunlop standard pick i would say then is the 88 the one that i use the most and then again a tortex uh i think this is a 60 is a bit because scratch but so the same type of pick but it's a bit thinner so uh, the next one is a nylon pick, um, and I would say it's, a, it's about uh, 88, 0.88, but it's quite flexible. Then I have a Gibson Thin, and this is really like, we're going into paper thin picks here. Um, then I have two more picks that are thin. This is a Fender. I like the pattern on it, it's probably a mixed material, but again, very, very thin. And this is the thinnest, this is a galley. Like super thin pick, you can literally bend them so easily. I would say in general, the thicker picks easier to play single notes, the thinner picks easier to strum. Um, I also have obviously other picks made of, of other materials like carbon fiber, uh, but I find that these were the most those that, that, that were different to speak from each other. So in the next part of the video, I'm going to play. Um, uh, an arpeggio, I'm going to play a single note scale, and I'm going to play some strumming, simple chords, you know, like folk type chords. Um, it's up to you then to decide what, you know, what you feel. Please leave in the comment, you know, your, your thoughts, and let me know what you use in general, what kind of picks you use. I'm always trying to find new materials. Um, obviously, thumb picks are different, and also I have the, the thumb picks with a, with a spring. I have other things, but I found that these were more like the, your run-of-the-mill stuff that you can find in shops. Again, let me know what you think. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Okay, so well, that was that really. Uh, um, I hope that you know you found some value in this and in this experiment. And again, let me know what you feel. Subscribe, please, and share through social media. And take care. Bye bye.